Good morning, beautiful twin flames. This is Karen with Mana Delight, and thank you for being here on this journey with me, for supporting and loving my channel and sharing my channel and all of that. Um, real briefly, I just wanted to make a few announcements, and then I'm going to dive into the message, um, which is the title, The Rise of the Divine Feminine. And, um, darn it, hold on, I'm so sorry. I always forget to do that, to turn that on um, silent so I don't get interrupted. Sorry. So um, the business of it is for um, the donations. I have ran into um, a couple of problems with the donations. I don't want to stop doing donation-based um, help for those people who are sincerely um, struggling financially. And I had made some stipulations before when I was talking about the donations that I will be able to pick up on if you are just in poverty consciousness and it's fear-based and you're hoarding money and not wanting to spend any money on yourself and not wanting to put value on the service, spiritual services that can be provided for you, that you're not in judgment of anyone who is charging for spiritual services because it's just like a plumber, electrician, or anything else, um, or the doctor's office. I am providing you with the service and I have prices listed. And I have stated before, and there's been some um, miscommunication. Donation needs to be a fair energy exchange. For example, you cannot donate $5 and set your expectations for an hour-long healing session for $5. That's not a fair energy exchange. However, if you message me and I agree to take $5 for an, air, for an hour, that's on me. So then I am saying, okay, that's fair enough for you and for your situation. So that would need to be cleared up because I had someone who sent a, a donation and her expectation level was completely off. So there should have been some prior communication to that um, of what you're expecting when you are sending a donation. So here is how it goes. You email me and you say, I am blah, 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 struggling financially. I, you don't have to go into the details. I don't need a free to fill out and jump through a bunch of hoops. I just need to tune into your energy and just kind of, you know, feel it out. And if you're saying this is all I have, but this is what I feel that I am in need of. This is the service that I feel I need. And this is all the money that I have. And then we can do that. If you're just donating to my channel and there's no expectation of any type of service and you're not doing it for a service, you could send me 50 cents. Okay. But the, I had to, and I have to do this. And I'm just doing this because I've ran into some problems ever since I started saying that I would accept donations for services. So I'm clarifying it now um, that that would be a requirement. Um, I don't want to stop it. Uh, but I've had a couple people who got phone sessions who said they were going to donate and then didn't do that. So that's on them because they weren't honoring their word and that's going to be on them. However, you know, it just kind of leaves, uh, you know, and I'm not going to let a bad apple spoil it for everyone at all. That's just not how I'm going to roll, but I, it needed to be said and, um, yeah, so there's that business. I am running a contest now. I think it was my last video. I think yes, it was my last video that I had done the new moon reading for. And someone posed a question underneath of it um, regarding the divine masculine. And I had responded with wait for it. And then um, another twin who I adore 
uh, completely had posted underneath there and used the hashtag wait for it. And we had a conversation about about that. So I'm running a contest and it is on Instagram. If you are not on Instagram, get on Instagram um, or Facebook. So I'm going to do it both. So either on Instagram or on my Man of Delight Facebook page, post a picture of what you're waiting for from your divine masculine. Some people are waiting for just the recognition of love. Some are waiting for their twin to show them some compassion. Some are waiting for the generosity. Some are waiting for the healing. Whatever you're waiting on from your divine masculine, if you can find a picture that, um, that, uh, depicts that for you, then post it on Instagram, hashtag wait for it. Um, and I will keep a list of all of those. I'm running this contest all through February 16th. So from today till February 16th, I'm running this contest so if you post on Instagram a picture with the hashtag wait for it, or if you post a picture on my Man of Delight Facebook page, hashtag wait for it, I'm going to enter you in a contest to win a free Twin Flame reading. So if you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me on Instagram and enter the, the free reading contest. I'm going to leave the information for that below. So I wanted to mention those two things. And then I wanted to talk about the energies of what I feel is playing out within the Twin Flame community right now. Um, and this, this download has been brewing for several days, and today's the day, they're saying. So, the rise of the Divine Feminine. This is what's happening. This is the current energy. This is what 2018 is really going to be ushering in. We're seeing the play out within... Um, the news and the media and with uh, everything going on. So you can see what's what's happening and what's happening with your divine masculine with just the play out of the energies for the collective. So what's happening is we're seeing the old masculine template being highlighted and we're seeing the veils being lifted and the women who have been victimized or have been taken advantage of by that old masculine energy. The old masculine is, like I've said before, the cheater, the pickup artist, the womanizer, um, but takes advantage of women and, um, Young, praise on young women and things like that. Those are some of the tendencies of the old masculine. This is what we're seeing come to light. The veil's being lifted. You can't hide anymore, old masculine. And so the hashtag wait for it is for that. It's we are waiting for the new masculine. Is it happening? Yes, it is. On my Facebook page, on Mana Delight Facebook page, I shared a video that I don't know if any of you know Negla and Debbie Debbie Du Bois, I think is how you say her last name. They shared a video of a masculine who was saying that he was he was the new masculine, that he had released the old masculine. He was no longer going to participate in the old masculine. It's a wonderful video. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Um so it is happening. It is happening. We are victorious. I got confirmation of that yesterday when I see this sign. Um, I went and picked my brother up and I seen a sign that was hidden manna pantry. It's a food pantry. And uh, I would have never went to that side of town. That's how I knew it. And I immediately seen manna and my name is manna delight. So it had me focus in on the sign and belief hidden man below hidden manna was revelations 217, which it was talking about to the one that is victorious. I will write, uh, their name on a white stone. And 
um, so it was like victorious. We are victorious. So it was a sign for me saying to let everybody know that we are victorious. Again, like I've said a thousand times, all is well. It's all coming along. Things are being dismantled. The dark forces are being taken out. Um, and releasing this old masculine template is what we want. How does the divine feminine help with that? By being the divine feminine. Just because you are the feminine energy and you are a divine feminine doesn't mean you're standing completely in your divine feminine prowess. And that the masculine can now see you. No, you've had to clear and shed all of these years of fears and doubts and hurts and pains and go through the healing and all doing all of that in order for you to be the divine feminine. And right now, this is the rise of the divine feminine. The divine masculine is also that service to self, not wanting to give. The feminine in this lifetime like and we have shared several lifetimes together and I, I believe that we have shared the ones that were most important definitely together like atlantis and lemuria in this lifetime when we said we were coming back together the mass our with our twins the feminine said we will lead because of what's going on we need the rise of the feminine and this has nothing to do with feminist and their extreme ideals. This is about healing the divine love, ushering in divine love. It's about healing relationships. Everyone gets divine love. It's a big job for twin flames, but we said we would come here and do it. So that means you're healing that. So the masculine is the service to self. The feminine is the service to others. We've been servicing others all of our lives. We've been nurturing. This is what the feminine is. And you can still be nurturing and standing in your power. You can still be loving and spiritual and standing in your divine feminine power. The divine feminine is not the old feminine. So the releasing of the old feminine has got to go. If you haven't released that old template, the time is now. The old feminine is needy. The old feminine is demanding. The old feminine is untrusting. And rightly so. And that's how these energies, the old feminine masculine energies have played off of each other. I'm doing this because you're doing that. And that's being demolished. And we're seeing it play out energetically. We're seeing the effects of it play out within the media, without, with all of this. And it's, we're leading the charge. So the more that you come into your divine feminine prowess, the more this divine love template gets ushered in. We are leading. And I have a video that I'm going to link to this video. It'll show, pop up at the end of this. Um, my video that I did, and I believe it was September, October. I keep saying that and haven't really checked the date of 2016, where I had seen the vision and gotten the download that the masculine is energetically not in the physical. They know where we are in the physical, but energetically behind the scenes, they're trying to find their divine feminine. And there's these loops going around and there are these connection points within the loops where there's an opportunity for you to come together, but they can't see us. Why? Because we haven't stepped from behind the curtain yet. And picture yourself stepping from behind the curtain and you're on stage. And when you step out and you are in your mojo, honey, you are in your power. You are self-sufficient, secure, independent on your mission in your divine feminine energy 100% they can see you 
But the problem is the masculine's not coming to you. And I've been having a lot of sessions where these feminine are saying this, 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 and this. And they're worried about what their feminines or the masculine's doing. And they can't take their eyes off of what they're doing in the physical. And it's not going to happen. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm crying. I'm purging. I'm doubting. I'm in my fear zone. And they don't. It's because they haven't done them. And I'm saying this to myself too. I had to have another wake up call. I'm still licking my wounds from 2017. And if you're a Sagittarius, you probably still are licking your wounds. Saturn just transitioned out of the sign of Sagittarius, thank God. And that means that the Lord of Karma is out of the sign of Sagittarius. And I'm believing in 2018 to be a fabulous year for all of us, not just Sagittarius, but definitely for Sagittarians, it's going to be a great year. So I myself am seeing this. She hasn't came. My twin hasn't came. My masculine has not found me because I haven't done me yet. I've been fiddling with it. I haven't fully, fully done me. I'm on my way to it. I'm making great progress. I'm almost there. That's why it's so important for you to put the focus back on you. Okay? So if you've noticed that your twin is backing off or there's, you know, things aren't going as what you thought they were going to go and you thought things would be progressing. You thought your twin would have reached out just because it turned January 1, 2018. You're just waiting, sitting back, waiting for it to happen and not making any movements towards you because the journey is still about you. It's not about what your twin's doing in the physical, who he's shacked up with, who he's calling, what job he's got, who he's talking to on social media, who commented on what. That is not the tall tale sign of what your divine masculine is doing. Expect the human aspect, the 3D aspect of your divine masculine who is still steeped in the old masculine template to show his ass. Expect it. Why? Because he's clearing that. All the womanizing twins that are out there, all the, the cheaters and the liar twins that are out there, when they become healed from that, they're helping the rest of the masculine on planet Earth to heal from it as well. We're, cre we're the creators. The twins, the masculine energy, and the divine feminine energy, when they come together, that's Hyros Gamos. That's that third energy. That is that creative energy. We are creating divine love. We are creating the template for it. We are healing the old the negative and the bad. And that's why I'm doing that with the wait for it, the hashtag wait for it. You don't want it unless it's right. You don't want it unless it's new. You do not want him in his old masculine. I can guarantee you that. And the feminine really should be tired of that shit. And saying, I'm doing me. And when you step out of that, when we can break that down together, that's when we'll be together. When I'm standing in my full power, when I'm standing in my full power, and that old masculine template has released. And that means when you're being the divine feminine, you've already released your old feminine. This is how you help your old masculine, your masculine twin, release that old masculine tendencies and behaviors is by being the divine feminine yourself. You're leading. So you're showing him how you dismantle that by going on and being and not being codependent by being independent, by being, by standing in your power, by getting on your shit, getting on your mission. You've cleared everything. You've healed everything, not everything, but you've cleared the energy we're always evolving. We're always healing. There will be great healing when we come into union with our twin. Nobody can heal you like your twin. They're mirroring to you everything that you need to. So if you see them acting up 
and they're doing something, you're not ready yet. That means you got more stuff to clear. And it's just the fact. I don't believe that there's some divine feminine that are just shining divine feminine and their masculine is, is the complete opposite. I don't believe that because I'll tell you one thing I've noticed for sure is all the time that I have been evolving, I have seen my twin evolve right along with me. She's not the same person she was before she met me. And I am not the same person I was before I met her. We triggered and activate each other and we have both evolved the same And we're reach, we're coming to one point, and that is union. This is our soul's path. This is our soul's mission. This is what we came here to do. And we are going to come into union. And it's really that easy. It's really that easy. But you have to do what you want, what you love, what you came here to create. That's mission. <clears throat> And I've said it before, it's not you working in the fields for 24 hours, 60 hours a week. It's not, that's not mission. Mission is what you came here to heal. And you know that by the, what you've had to heal, you know that by what your twin has shown you. Because your twin is always channeling information to you, regardless whether they're 3D conscious of them channeling union and mission to you, they're doing it. I've witnessed it in mine. And you guys will know, and I will remind you again, I don't ever speak about anything within this community. I don't just frilly, willy nilly, just go off and talk about something. I talk from my own experience. I talk from what's happening in my union and the unions that I see playing out and all of the people that contact me. This is how you know. I'm not just, I didn't just read a book and now I'm running with it. I'm talking from my own experience and my own union and what's happening within my own union. And that is why I've gone through the things that I've went through, why I've fast tracked and purged and got all the downloads and met the people that I met to learn this, to learn that, to discern this and to discern that is because I can tell you, this is what I'm seeing. And this is the truth of that. And this is my truth, but it's the truth of the twin flame journey because without a shadow of a doubt, I'm a twin flame without a shadow of a doubt. I'm a true twin flame and without a shadow of a doubt. Me and my twin have a very big mission together. So your twin is going to channel to you that which you need to heal. And what you are healing is the template that you are going to usher in. What is that? What is that? If you're, if your twin is struggling with, um, alcohol, let's just, let's just do that. Your, your, your twin's a drinker, an alcoholic. What is he healing? alcoholism. What are you healing? Alcoholism. And if your twin struggles with addictive behavior, you most likely, if you're a true twin are, are also dealing with some addictive behavior. So you're healing that for the rest of the world, whatever these little increase, you know, if it is a cheating, say it is cheating and say your, your twin is, is, is just a classic cheater. He just cannot not cheat. Other women catch his eye all the time. If he gets healed from that, he's creating the template. And it doesn't just mean that there's one cheater twin flame couple and there's one alcoholic. There's several of us. It's a group after. This is your soul family. This is how you find your soul family according to your mission as well. There's another clue. If there's people that are around you that are here to heal the same things, they're most likely soul family. And you decided to come together and to heal that together. And 2018, I believe, is all about that. It's all about you figuring out what you came here to do and getting on it and you finding your soul family and helping each other on what your mission is. It doesn't matter what they're doing in the physical. You have to switch your focus back on you. You have to surrender to what's going on over there. Move on from it. Let it go and do you. 
you and your twin flame are connected, that can't ever change. There is an etheric energy white cord that connects you and your twin. You're never not connected. You're always connected. In the physical reality, this is where separation is. This is where separation is perceived in this 3D reality. So whatever the hell's going on over there is not the truth of it. And you have to get to the place where you understand that and you move on from it. Your twin, when it's time, will come. Divine timing, divine will. Focus on you. Rise up, divine feminine. I don't know about you, but I am the other half of a power couple. Be the other half of the power couple. Be the divine feminine. This journey, as you know, is not for the weak. And how do I know that you're strong and can deal with this is because you signed up for it. So you Continue to shed those layers of fear and doubt. Surrender. Do some soul searching. Find out what it is that you came here to do. And it's something that you love. It's something that you love. You're not going to spend your days with your twin working like a dog and not enjoying it. That's an old template that's going to be done away with. We're not here to be slaves. We're here to live and frolic and love and joy and play and enjoy this life. That is the new earth. That is heaven. That is what we're supposed to be doing. So what heal from that, what you need to heal from that creates the template. Tune in to what it is that you came here to do. Tune in to what it is that you are going to And if you're waiting on your twin to come in for you to just step out into it, then you're going to be waiting. You have to be the other half of that power couple and doing you. Your masculine is following right behind you. And like I said, I've seen that play out. I've seen the the soul evolving, the soul emerging, and the evolution of my twin on their journey without me even being involved. I didn't have to be over there in the 3D teaching and talking and telling what's what. It's happening. We're evolving at the same time. We're on a path that's leading us to the culmination of our union and mission. And it's happening. And like I said, I know this journey is not for the weak. And you know that you're strong because you never would have signed up for it. And at the end of the day, you have to get to the point where you're the divine feminine, where you're believing that this is beautiful. And it is. It's beautiful. You and your twin decided to come here, clear all your shit and help humanity, humanity to usher all of this in. When your twin's acting up, They're playing that out. They're playing it out. They're bringing awareness to it so it can be healed. It's a beautiful thing. When they are doing that and it causes and triggers you, whatever that trigger is, is coming up for you to heal it. It's beautiful. They're shining the mirror. They're holding the mirror up to you and say, that's what needs to be fixed so we can get over here. So you have to fix it. You just don't wait for the ball to drop. And this is what 2018 is ushering in. You on your path to your divine feminine prowess. And it is a beautiful journey, kids. And we're seeing it happen. And this is what this is about. So if you're being triggered... If you're having doubts and fears come up, deal with it. Deal with it. Book a healing session. If you're not sure what's going on, book a reading. And you don't have to just do it with me. I am available for that. I know the journey and I know my shit. So if you want to, okay. But somebody who you're comfortable with, 
That is why we are here. This is why there are leaders and teachers, and you will know when somebody is true or whether they're phony. Um, that's why a lot of things happen where you're able to uh, tune into your discernment. If you're doing that, discerning your and you're following your intuition and guidance, they're going to lead you to that person who is able to help you. I've had several people that have been led to me and I've been working with them for a very long time. And it is, it's wonderful. It's, it's beautiful to me that they were led, that God led them to me to help them. And I do my best and I consider it an honor to help and to work with y'all. So this is what I'm tuning into. There's no more of this weakness. There's no more of this needy codependent. There's none of that. We're coming into the rise of the divine feminine and you can get on the path towards being that divine feminine, or you can wait and you can lay back and then whatever. It's your choice. It is your choice. You've got to step into this. And doing what you love, doing what you love is a huge part of that. What do you want to create? What do you want 2018 and beyond to look like? What does your future hold? What do you want to be doing? Focus on it with unwavering faith. Focus upon it. Manifest it. Believe it. Believe it's your truth. Clear doubt out for once and for all. And know that once you, once you step into your divine feminine, it's coming for you. It can't help but come for you because you're going to be vibing so high. You're going to magnetically draw your masculine twin to you. It's that simple. It's energy. And energy never lies. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your love and support of my channel. I will be doing a full moon reading here at the first part of next week. We have a huge full moon, blue moon eclipse on the 31st. And I'm going to do a reading for that. And if you are um, a Capricorn, Until that time, January 31st, your readings are on special for 33. And then I'm doing also a Aquarius reading for the Aquarians out there. And then for the month of February, your readings will be on special for the $33 as well. I'm leaving all this information below. Please follow me on my Facebook page, Mana Delight. Uh, I'm still doing that. That's why if you haven't seen my um, website link, I'm getting rid of all of that and just focusing on my Facebook page. Why not? I can book and schedule and communicate with everyone right from my Facebook page. So I'm going to start doing that. It connects us more deeply than having a website. Um, Yeah. And I just feel like it's, I feel like it's better and it's free. So Facebook Man of Delight page, message me there, reach out there, start following there, Instagram as well, and join the contest for a free twin flame reading. It's as simple as posting a picture, hashtag wait for it. I love you all very much. Namaste.